Good afternoon everybody, what's going on? I am Jeff Grant Media and today's unboxing and first impressions video, we have a package that has been months in the making. I am very, very excited for this and um, kind of quite happy that it finally arrived because it's been stuck in customs for days and there is a little bit of shipping damage. I peeked through the bear bag is exposed in there so I'm really hoping there's no issues with it because this is a custom made bag from Italy and uh, it's gonna really be a hassle <laughs> um, to get this taken care of if it is damaged and that will be of no fault of the seller. This is in fact the shipper that uh, popped the box open but as you can see from the box and the title of this video, this is an arch bag. We're gonna go ahead and pop this thing open, see what we have inside, then we'll give you a little bit of rundown of who Arch is in case you are unfamiliar with the name because they are a very small company and by they I mean it is a one man show. So he is a very small company. So let's, uh, let's start by cracking this puppy open and seeing what we got inside. Trusty Swiss army knife. And as always, be careful because there are soft goods inside this box. So be very, very careful when opening your soft goods with a blade. Usually these tapes just rip once you get a little slit going, but this tape is pretty good, so it is, it does not want to rip. There we go. Kind of, kind of ripped. So Arch, kudos on your tape. <laughs> if your uh, bag quality is as good as your tape quality, I have no worries about the shipping damage on the box. I can't get the package open. Always close and put your knife away when you're done with it. Okay, here's where the shipping damage was. And I see no issues. Ooh. Well, oh, that's a nice little, little surprise in there. Now, I'll tell you why there's a bicycle bottle in with my pack in a minute. Okay, I did just give the bag a quick once over and there appears to be no shipping damage. It's right about here where the box was, uh, it looked like it was cracked, not cut. So they probably just, it hopefully happened today in transit when they were just stacking boxes in the truck. Um, but everything looks a-okay on the up and up. So a quick rundown on Arch and why I got a bicycle bottle. Um, Arch is a bicycle oriented brand, um, Not that's not just what they make, but um, Andre is a cyclist and he makes packs and bags that go on bicycles, different cool bags that actually attach onto bicycles. This is one of his backpacks, this is the Grisetti. Um, this is a custom bag. Now, if you've not heard of Arch, he is, as I said, a one-man show, a very small company out of Italy. Since uh, 2010, he has had his doors open. I believe he, he lived in Milan and he now moved. Um, I don't know if, I think Arch started in Milan and then uh, they moved along to a, I think he lives up in the mountains now. Um, if you watch his IG, there'll be a link to that account down below, which is how you will get a hold of uh, Arch or Andre to get any of their bags on his own. Now, he does do a lot of custom work. He can pretty much, from our conversation, build just about anything you want, um, but he does have some standard things that he does to help showcase his work, and one of them was the Grisetti, and I really, really liked this pack. I saw it on, um, a blog that uh, starts with a C and ends with an ology, and that's how I heard of the company, and I did a little digging around, really liked what I saw. So I kind of reached out and got a bag built and made. So as you see, this is a roll top, and 
there's actually, I'm gonna go with the whole thing, but there's actually two more ways to access this bag. But before we do that, we need to do a spec rundown and a disclaimer. I am not affiliated with Arch in any way. I purchased this bag with my own money. I am not being endorsed or paid to say anything positive or negative about this product. And with that, let's go ahead and do a quick spec rundown of what this bag is built out of. The main body and roll top of my pack is a VX21. The front panel is a PU coated Cordura. The bottom is 100% Kevlar. And the lying is PU coated nylon ripstop in red. Side pockets are made of a mesh material and the front pocket is Durastretch. And there's a little glimpse of the inside of the bag, which I chose. I chose the color of the liner and the accents. You can see all the zipper tabs are a red paracord that looks like it actually has, yes, it's reflective red. So if I am wearing this on a bike or a scooter, which I do own and drive and ride both, a bicycle and a motor scooter, um, I will hopefully be seen on the road. So we'll go ahead and start with the roll top of the bag. Now this will have two cinches so I can either, there's a male and female on the top, so I can either roll it and cinch it together or I can roll it and cinch it down to the sides. So I can have two ways to close this bag. So if I want to compress it, I'll roll it, use the side compression cinch, cinch straps, and I can compress the top down. If I have a big load, I can have it all the way up, and then I'll just roll it, roll it, give it one roll over, and then connect the male, female on the top, and then I can actually utilize the whole bag. So my bag, I should be 25 to 30 liters. I believe the main body is 25, but the expandable top gives me another five liters. So I should be overall 30 liters on this pack. So we have our Dura Stretch pocket here. So the pocket itself, this is the Dura Stretch material, but it does have a piece of, this must be Cordura. This is definitely a Cordura line right here, which is part of the front coating, front panel as well. So the top piece does not ex expand out, but there is a shock cord strap in there so I could cinch that down. And this is nice, there's a little piece of red paracord in there that holds the shock, the, the clip for the shock, shock cord so you don't kind of lose that. So even if I dangle it in, I now can keep it close to the body and if it's all the way out, I'm not gonna have this piece of cord dangling around because this would bounce around, but with this piece of paracord, it's actually gonna hold it in place. So that's really nice. In front of that, we do have an AquaGuard zipper. Also PU red lined. Ooh, that is deep. That's the whole front of the bag. That is, here's the top of my forearm. My hand was out like, like this. So it is to here. That is the whole length of the front of the bag. So you have your front pocket here that is practically the whole leg. And then the zipper pocket is actually a little bit taller because you have maybe another inch and a half, two inches. So that's deep, that, and that goes side to side. So it is from the zipper to the bottom, side to side in the front. So that is a big pocket. Okay, so that looks like that might be a bit of an issue. I just zipped this little paracord pull tab on the inside and that is the super stiff because it's new. There you go. That's how you actually access the bag without the roll top. We'll get into that. We'll, we didn't get that far yet. We didn't get that far yet. So the little pull tab does kind of get in the way of the zipper. Not a, not a big deal. Now one other thing I love is that there's daisy chaining along the sides of this. So you can actually strap anything you want and that goes both sides all the way down the bag. So you actually have one, two, three, four, four loops on both sides, so that is awesome. And there's actually hooks at the top and at the bottom of the bag. So that's nice, so you actually have a couple more attachment points. These would be for like, if you're actually using this to out in the woods, you can put trekking poles in here. Um, they do make, he does make this with a hip belt. I had mine made with no hip belt because I'm not a hip belt person. So I, I knew I wouldn't use it. So we have going to the sides. On the sides, we have the straps for the roll top. So they actually come into the water bottle pockets. And 
The bag is stiff because it's VX material, but these water bottle pockets, they're pretty deep. I mean, they're, they're pretty much a quarter of the length of the bag. They're pretty, they're pretty robust. Now there is, okay. All right, it's the way the, the you can't really see it, but in there, there's a bit of a, a knot, which this strap is anchored to the bottom and the side. So it actually, it's like a Y strap. So it comes from here, and then he just does this little knot in here to kind of make it pull it together so it's just one strand coming out. And this is adjustable too on both sides so you can really cinch down the roll top. If you want to pull it down, you can actually, if you want to expand it out and still have some higher compression, you can really let it out or you can zip it down and really compress that roll top. So on both sides, we do have our water bottle pockets that are mesh. They're pretty big. I mean, the mesh isn't stretchy, so I don't know what water bottle will be able to fit in here, but we'll try a couple standard that I use. It'll be like a 32 ounce analogy and a 750 milliliter um, Kimback chute. Oh, and we also have some side compression straps here that I didn't notice at first, so. That'll actually, I'll stick my hand in there, and the bag was compressed. So right there already gave me some more slack on the side of the bag, because I didn't realize these compression straps were there. Didn't notice those in any of the product photos. And here's our Kevlar bottom. I know it's hard to see, because the bag's all black, and there's a little, little bit of branding right there at the bottom. Moving to the back of the bag, we have Oh, there's more compression straps at the top, so that's great. There's a lot. This bag is nice. There's more compression. These ones have female and male clips, where the bottom compression strap is just its just a, a slider, but the top will unhook. But behind that, we have an AquaGuard zipper that is accessed into our laptop sleeve. Now, the front, the back is out is big. There's a lot of padding here, but that's actually, you know, the back of the bag as well. So you got your back padding, but then the front end of the laptop sleeve that faces the interior of the bag, this is also got a little bit of padding in there. Not a lot, but enough. I like that. And I can't tell. Yes, the laptop sleeve is floating as well. But we'll get a better look once we crack the bag open all the way. We have our S-hook straps that aren't, they're padded, they're not huge, they're not thick, which uh, I honestly I kind of prefer. I just used a bag today that has really, really thick, thick shoulder straps and it was incredibly uncomfortable. Where these feel like they got enough padding, but they're not super, super bulky where I'm gonna feel like uh, I'm regretting using this bag for the day. And we got a sternum strap with plenty, plenty of adjustment there. And this one has the elastic, which some people love, some people hate. I don't care either way, it doesn't bother me. And it, there are two sections of looping on your shoulder, your shoulder straps, couldn't get that word out. And this is adjustable, you can pop this off if you need to move it up higher. And they will slide up and down each one, but then I could take this off and put it in the upper one if I need to raise it a little bit. We have two little, um, I guess these are D-rings. They're different than what I've ever seen. They're actually kind of nice. They are Duraflex. Okay, so they're actually name brand. They're good. Really hard to see them, but they're this little interesting. I've never seen like these views before, but they're kind of thick. They're not heavy, but they're thick. So they're not like this thin little piece of plastics, I feel like, and they're Duraflex, which usually make those big, the thick buckles. So these are going to be pretty durable, one on each shoulder strap, so you can hook things on there. And we also have load lifters, which is really great to help dial in your carry. Now we have a carry strap on the front. Our carry strap, a grab handle on the front and the back. Here's the front of the bag. And actually the front bag no, they're the same, they're the same. I thought the front one was a little bit thicker, but they're the same. And now we could 
Now this is sewn in on the sides so it doesn't flip all the way up, but it comes loose. And then you will zip it, unzip it on either side, YKK zippers. And then you can completely open the bag. So inside, here is the front of the laptop sleeve that I said is padded. There's a little bit of padding here. And it is, I believe, I believe it's floating. Maybe it's not. No, I think it comes all the way to the bottom. But there is actually a piece of padding on the bottom. But inside here, we actually have, looks like you even said patches. So there is a pocket here. Which I believe just goes to the frame sheet. Yes. So that's actually not a pocket. There's, there's got to be a pocket here somehow. Because there's two little floating circles that you could see here. That I'm guessing are patches. Oh, there's stickers. There's stickers. So this must be a hidden pocket that I don't know where the zipper is. I feel like such a fool. After 10 to 15 minutes of trying to access that pocket, I gave up. I was just, I felt like a complete fool. I emailed Andre and he said, oh, it's a, a zipper from the outside of the bag between the shoulder straps. So uh, that's how I got my two stickers. I looked everywhere on the inside of the bag. Never once did it occur to me to look on the outside of the bag for a zipper. I had a long day yesterday, so I'm gonna chalk it up to, I spent like probably four hours driving, couple hours in the hot sun at an amusement park with the family so I was a little tired because um, I actually filmed it last night it was like 10 o'clock at night when I filmed it it was not in the afternoon I just have this habit of always saying good afternoon so uh, yeah thanks Andre for letting me know that I'm a fool completely my fault not his at all um, yeah and I even saw the red uh, paracord pull tab when I was talking about the load lifters and it just never occurred to me that that was a zipper for the inside pocket but I got my stickers stoked and uh, he said that it was actually a new add-on option to the bag so it's actually a new feature so uh, also good to know all right back to uh, Jeff from the past we have two little liner pockets on either side of the bag which is nice so you can put small things I'll probably actually toss like my first aid kit in there because that'd be perfect but it's thin it's small it'll go on the edge and it'll be out of the way and then on the front zipper, we actually have two zipper mesh pouches. Now this mesh is not expandable, but there is ample room in there. I hate it when these are super tight and you can't really do anything in there because you can slide stuff in, but then you can't get your hand in there to actually get anything out. So that's a pain when that happens. But these, there's ample room. Let's see, yep. Okay, so there's plenty of space for me to get my hands in there to get anything out. And there's, again, two zipper pockets. Uh, they look about the same length. They're about, yeah, they're, they're about the depth of my hand, so not bad, they're a good size. They take up the whole front panel here. And then if you zip this back up, and the YKK AquaGuard zippers are actually zippering quite nice. That's an issue I usually have with AquaGuard zippers. Now, if we look inside, hard, it's hard. Top lid, I actually can pull this out and there's a cinch cord. So we could actually, well, this is an interesting cinch cord. And cinch this down. An interesting cinch cord. I don't, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I feel like a fool. Does it, is it a button or do I just pull it? Is it just friction? Okay, I believe this one's just friction. It's really small. It's almost like this bell shape. But I think it's just a friction. I think it's just friction that's holding this one in. I don't believe. It doesn't feel like it's pulling at all. Yeah, I think it's 100% a friction lock. So, but that's nice. And then, 
you can tuck that in. You can actually pull that out and cinch it all the way down if you've got a lot of stuff. I got the camera hanging down. <laughs> a lot of stuff in this bag. Because this bag is pretty badass. So I'm going to go ahead and get this queued up to get into rotation because I am very, very, very excited. Check out this arch bag. Like I said, I've been waiting a couple of months for this. Um, now, I will say that um, some of the waiting was not Andre's fault. He became a father in the time period when I was speaking to him and when I ordered the bag. So I 100% will wait and give him as much time as he needed because becoming a dad is a very special and intense time in your life, especially if you're a first time dad. So by all means, take the time that you need um, because Hey, family comes first, but he's back at it now and I have my bag and I am stoked to put this thing to use. So if you like this video and my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring the bell right next to it so you can notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night.